All right, guys, we arrived at home. Oh, it pains me to see this car. We're gonna fix it today, actually. And um, the car is sitting on the flat, but the rim is not getting, like, you know, um, dented or anything. It's just laying, like, comfortably on a tire, but it's just flat. Uh, we're gonna fix it up today. We're gonna patch it up today, but I'm gonna have to order a new tire. Now, I am not a car guy, and I don't, you know, claim to be. So if anyone has any opinion on if I should get a new tire, replace it right away, or patch it up and ride it out and stuff like that. I'm not too sure. I know I heard that it, it messed with the sensors, so um, I'm gonna have to check that out. Along with that, guys, I'm gonna have to get this cleaned. Now, I do also wanna wrap this car. People say that, like, oh, you copy Dan. First you get a Camaro, then you get this, then you get that, you get a new bike, you get a 1000, you copy him, then you wanna wrap the car, you copy him. Guys, if you haven't noticed, the cool thing to do on YouTube now is to wrap a car, so it is what it is. I do want to, like the red, I've never been a fan until I saw it in person, and the red is beautiful. So I do want to keep the red and black contrast. So what I want to do with the wrap is pretty much just have it red, but also like nice black like accents to make it nice, mean, and aggressive. So I don't know what to do. It will be custom to where like nobody you know has this kind of wrap. So I do want to customize it. If you have any ideas, if you are an artist, if you, you know, have designed wraps, let me know because I do want to figure something out. As far as this bike, this bike is coming out today. We're going to moto vlog. Um, the stunt bike is going to happen, guys. This will be a, a bigger reveal than this. Tina's bike is really dusty because it's not insured right now. Um, literally dust. Tina did hurt her hand, so she can't ride right now, but that is what it is. So we're going to go from there. We're going to wait for Joel to come. We're going to go inside the house now. Hey, bud. Hey, 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 don't grab the shoe. Don't grab the shoe. Start me drop it. Good boy. He gets excited and he just just grabs literally every shoe he sees. Where's Sid, Sid Storm? Where's Sid, Sid? Sydney. I hear her. The little gentle princess. Oh, you got something in your mouth. Storm's trying to steal it off of her mouth. Stormy, let her play with it. And you got a, she had a slipper and a toy in her mouth. Here, at least give her the slipper. Here, Sid, be excited. Uh, some people may say it's, it's a bad habit teaching dogs how to grab their stuff, but I'd rather have them grab stuff when they greet people than, you know, jump on them, try to nip them and stuff like that. Because Storm is still nipping. He will be nipping for like two, three years. It's just how the labs are. But it's better for them to have something in their mouth while excited. I know when Joel comes over, Storm tries to grab everything. So, um, and if he doesn't grab anything, he'll go to Joel and try to grab his shoes while they're on him. So, I just let him do it. Usually, it's with a toy. Oh my goodness, Stormy, you're so excited. A lot of you have been asking for a update with Storm, so I will give you one, um, not now, but like a full video and just explain everything from head to toe. For those of you who have been around for quite a while, you would know that Storm has had some very bad issues. He bit me like two or three times. He bit Tina once or twice. Stormy, hey, that's enough. You were excited, now you're just eating it. No, 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 no. Drop it, drop it, good boy. That's Tina's slipper. Over here, Storm. Over here, the toy. Look up. Ah, ah, Storm. Look, here's your toy. Stormy, sit. Okay, sit pretty. Sit pretty. Good boy. Ah, no jumping. Sit pretty. Good boy. And then he's still, he's still learning sit pretty, so with this, we kind of help him out like this. Sit pretty to kind of get his balance. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Sit, sit. Hi, mama. Hi, baby girl. Give me a kiss. Oh, good girl. Your breast fell small. <laughs> so, Joel is coming today, guys. He's going to help me with the car. Uh, I'm going to have to buy a torque wrench, a jack. I'm going to have to buy the sealant and everything else. Uh, but for now, this is aimhighclothing.com, guys. For those of you who have bought something from the website, this is where it all literally comes from. I did not ship stuff out today because I thought I'd be at court for a longer time and then the shipment place that I use closes at 4. So that is what it is. 6foot4hana.com orders. All the hats, all the keychains, stickers over there. Guys, I, I'm so, so sorry. It's super delayed. I know. I apologize. Someone messaged me on Twitter um, saying his order hasn't been shipped out and it's been three weeks. I'm so sorry. Um, it's unfortunately, I can't... You know, you, he did mention if you don't have time, just hire someone. Unfortunately, I can't hire someone because it's in a house. Like, I don't want people coming to my house to do this stuff. You know what I mean? Um, if I had an office, sure, and maybe eventually I will have an office. I do plan on figuring something out with an office space kind of deal. But just know I, I am aiming for tomorrow to get sh everything shipped out. 6 for Hana orders. 
um, aimhighclothing.com orders, everything. And I hope you guys are liking the shout outs that I'm doing. Anyone that orders stuff off of aimhighclothing.com, I go to my Snapchat and Instagram story and shout you guys out. So that's what it is here. So I'm going to do some orders. I'm going to show you. I, this is one of the shirts, Victories in My Blood. The thing, you guys see it on Instagram and stuff. But I'm going to do some orders now, shout some people out, and then continue the vlog once Joel is here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in literally like a second. We made it to Canadian Tire, guys. Welcome Joel again. The guys that the guy that you see is the guy that you see in my riding videos too. Um, he's I, I met him how, how long ago? Maybe a month and a half, two months ago. ago. But we just recently started riding together because at first we were talking about a beginner series that we still want to do. But um, actually, well, right now we're going to Canadian Tire. Why? To buy the the sealant, the jack, um, uh, socket set, socket set, uh, torque wrench, torque wrench. And, and I think that might be it. I think that's it. And that's it for now. So hopefully we can fix this flat tire today because I really want to get it out of the way. Plus, I want to drive the damn car. It's not going to sit in the garage this summer. No, no, no. That's out. We can... going out. Wait, wait, wait. No. Tina taught me a secret. Oh, you just... Well, usually you got to like pry your fingers through it, but... This is do not enter. We're such rebels. Well, yeah. oh. So first up, guys, auto body repair. Uh, we need the tire sealant. Not too sure where to look. Uh, I've never really looked for it before. Automotive fluids. We'll be back once we find it. All right, tire seal, guys. This is all, I think this is all, this is the slime that people say don't use. There's a different method, I guess, like, this isn't slime, right? I'm not too sure, but to people told me to avoid slime. Now, from what I thought, it was only slime. But, um, this is t uh, tight seal, instant tire repair, tire sensor safe. We'll make a decision, and then we'll get back into looking for more stuff. It's not lighting up or anything, but. You just gotta punch it. To the point where the window breaks and you just take it out, <laughs> right? That's it. <laughs> All right, guys. So right now we got the um, this is the sealant. Joel's familiar with this one, so we got this one. We obviously got this. All right. And then, how can we help? Push here. One hour later. Maybe 20 minutes looking at sockets because no one's coming to help. All right, I'm making him do all the uh, the labor work. He's it's all good. How much do you think that weighs? About 35 pounds. 35 pounds. We can add another 35 and then go get another one. Shout out to Joel for coming here helping me carry the damn. Um, <laughs> oh, what will we buy again? The uh, the jack. jack. And uh, six foot's good old. You know, this is pretty heavy too, man. I don't know. Like I could I could kind of carry it, but maybe not really. All right, let's shove this bad boy up in here. Skirt. That's not gonna go. This is gonna go in the front because we don't want that jumping around. Okay. And uh, yeah. Okay, so now guys, mission torque wrench and mission deep socket, 22 millimeter. Those two, this Canadian did not have because they were sold out. So we got to go to a different Canadian tire. Now, when we were asking if there was a a, a 22 millimeter, did I say inch again? Do you said millimeter? Okay, last yeah. time I said inch. So we asked about the 22 uh, millimeter deep sock, and they're pretty much saying it's as is. If it's not there, it's not there. And sometimes the employees just pocket that shit and just like walk away with it. The air pressure in this car is now saying the tires are, are losing pressure, but they look okay. Um, I'm not too sure why it's saying that. Maybe just a tad, a little bit, it lost yeah. it. But um, we'll see. Maybe it's the, the weather that because it was warm and now it got cooler. Maybe that did it. Who knows? I'm not a weather guy or a science guy or a car guy. So who the fuck knows? Princess Auto now we're looking for the torque wrench and the deep socket, socket 22 millimeter for the to take off the tire and shit. So whoa. Yeah, that's that we might ride today, so I don't know if we have we'll have a long ride, but we'll see what we can do after this. But, right, let's go find some parts. So we got the 22 millimeter, we got the half inch um, extension, we got the torque wrench, and we got the spare tire for the Camaro. We're gonna put this in the back and um oh, forget to grab it. Let's go. We got what we needed, plus we got something extra. What are these called again, Joel? What? Oh, the, the the jack stands. Jack stands. So jack stands. we're pretty jack up the car and put it on the stand so we're not relying on the actual jack, but on the stands and they're very stable and stuff like that. Plus they look cool. Plus the stand, the jack, the, uh, the actual jack, you guys are going to like it. It's nice and red. It fits with the car. So we're going to put that in the back of two, I guess, and then bang, bang, skeet, skeet. All right, guys. So we got home. We got all the tools we need. We're going to back out carefully because it's running on a flat, but like it's, it's all right. It's all right. We're going to find a flat spot on the ground. And we're gonna go from there. Hopefully we can change the tire and fix it up, patch it up to where we can ride or drive today. We're getting food after, but we're taking our bikes. Taking the bikes. Uh, yeah. And I gotta wash this damn car, man. Let's start this bad boy up.
man, this is this just makes me sad. Wow. No, no, no. We're gonna fix you real quick, baby. Okay, that's good. That's it. All right. So whatever you do, don't kick that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm coming guys, I don't forget about you. Oh, the car better not drop right now, man. <laughs> okay guys, so this is pretty much the ZL1 with no tires. So we're gonna look for the spot where the puncture was. Yeah. It's pretty easy to spot. Yeah. So what's it look like? That's, I can't, that's weird. What is that? I have no idea. I might have to pick it out. If there's anything in there. How does that even happen? So this part of the tool is to pretty much clear out the hole and uh, we'll apply the other part later. So the process now, guys, is just flush out the hole. Pretty much do this. Oh, see, you can hear the air even come out even more. All right. The sealant and then the sealant goes into this little screw thing. You inject it and pull out and the sealant stays pretty much. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so. cool. There. And then you literally just just jam it in. You jam it in and you pull out. That's what she said. Nah. I believe in you, Joel. Yeah, some of that. <sighs> and then you kind of cut off the excess when you uh <sighs> Damn, these sounds, bro. Okay, you know what? I don't want to fuck it up, so if you fuck it up, I can blame you. That's <laughs> and you've done it before, so I feel better oh, about man. myself. All right. Hopefully okay. it went in all the way. But if anything, we have multiple ones. So. Yeah, but the thing is, like, it doesn't go too like further because it hits the rim. Right. <sighs> oh, good. That's it. And that is sealant, guys. I've never done it before, so Joel kind of helped me out on the first one. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, we just got to clip cut it. That out. Yeah. yeah. So we'll grab the uh, little good old ghetto-ass gardening clippers. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's put air in it. Make sure it's not leaking. You're the man. Yeah. I like you. Oh. It's getting there, it's boys. Getting there. It's getting there. Guys, just for an FYI, the PSI specs are right here on the Z01 right here. So if you do have it, you get a flat. I don't know. Maybe I'll be the first one to get a flat. 32 PSI. We're at 20. We're at 20 right now. So we're going to see you guys. There's no air leaking. The bubbles weren't showing up when we poured water on it. Um, my worst fear is the Camaro dropping on the fork, but we're okay right now. Oh my god, I'm scared. Right. And we're at 32 PSI just like that, so we're gonna go put the tire back on and everything and hopefully it goes A-OK. -okay. Not gonna film it because it's the same thing, but we'll see you guys when the tire's back on the car. Alright guys, so it was a success. The Z01 now has a good old tire, so Joe parked up in here. For now, we're gonna actually go take it out for a spin to see everything is okay. Go eat some food. We literally have four bikes. This is like a, like a... Motorcycles heaven, eh? Four bikes in here, holy fuck. Lock that steering up, baby. Let's go. go. And uh, we're gonna go wash up and um, do the dang dang diggy.